How's it going YouTube? So I'm back with another OS uh, XL Capitan video and in this video I kind of want to catch up with something I've been seeing a lot in the comments and I've had a lot of people asking me in general so this video is going to be for a speed performance. Now it's really hard to kind of show a speed performance because each device that we use, our MacBooks, our Mac Airs, our iMacs, or Mac Pros will all have different specs and perform in their own way. So this is just to show my MacBook um, from before and kind of after. I won't be able to show you, I guess, of before, but you guys have the Yosemite. So I guess for some of you, this is a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. Um, I just want to go through uh, mainly the animations itself in the OS. So scrolling up and down, going through here, back and forth. So I just kind of want to show you guys, um, I was playing with it a little earlier and I noticed that even the response is even better than the Yosemite when I go up, up. So it hits almost every single one. Sometimes I can go too quick where it won't. Switching back and forth, you can see the animations don't really lag out, although I have a glitch here. Moving my mouse around, creating desktops, flopping back and forth. Everything seems to be pretty smooth for a beta, opening a ton of apps at once here. So let's just, just throw a whole bunch of stuff on it. And very quickly, you can see most of these apps have multitasked. I had to swipe up twice there, so that was a teeny bit of lag. Jumping back and forth from application to application and so on. Creating new windows, so I can come up here and I can drop this into its own section. And then I'll be able to place another application into it stretch it out, resize. The animations are very smooth as you can see here. A lot of you um, are using the double tap, so double tap here will open this up. You can also, if I bring, let's bring these guys back to where they were originally. You can see there's a bit of a UI lag, so there when I went up to drop this menu, it took a little while and now there's actually a bit of a glitch here. Um, and then if I tap this to let make it let go, can go back here. I want to just create another window so you can exit out, open this back up. Now when you double tap here, oh, it's, it doesn't want to do it for me. You can get it to do it in a finder window. Maybe not. So um, They still have a few things to work out there but again so this is just kind of ripping through the OS as fast as I can go here. So I had a bit of an animation glitch, now it's not grabbing it there. Overall, the responsiveness of my touchpad seems to be pretty much the same. I think it's more the UI, or the, the GUI itself that's been kind of sped up. Apple has um, definitely improved the overall um, performance just in switching back and forth through your menu. So uh, there you go. I kind of hope that helps some of you um, who've been asking about speed in the OS. I mean... Like I said, each MacBook is going to be a little different on its own, Mac Pro, iMac, or anything else that you're using. So it's this is just kind of a rough base. Um, from what I can tell so far, it is definitely going to be an improvement. So this isn't something, too, I wouldn't recommend everybody jumping on just yet. Um, there are still bugs in the build, and I'm going to be doing a few videos on some of the issues that I have found just to kind of give people the heads up before you jump that uh, this, even though this build is performing very well, still is a developer build and has some issues. So I understand why Apple isn't testing it on the public yet. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys again next time.